back at it again. And we've got somebody today that we haven't checked out in quite some time. And I do want to say a uh, huge shout out, huge, huge shout out to Thomas Soul. Um, someone, and I've said this before, someone that I think uh, would have been a great president. Someone that I think should be celebrated more, spoken about more. And uh, I just want to take the time to give the great Thomas Soul his flowers while he's still here with us. Um, you know, I don't know how, how much longer he will be here with us. Obviously, I think, I think the guy's like 90 something, 92 or something. So he's up there. Um, but he's still around, which is a, which is a beautiful and wonderful thing. Um, and, uh, I, I, I just want to acknowledge how great of a person and, uh, how much great information Thomas Sowell has spread into the world and I, I greatly appreciate his presence um, on this earth so yeah just wanted to give us give him his flowers while he's still here you know I didn't want to wait until until after you know a tragedy happened but um Neil deGrasse Tyson I believe his name is is the topic of discussion today with Thomas so you know Neil was, um, you know, some someone that I actually kind of liked a while back. I mean, not to say that I hate the guy or anything. I don't, I don't like hate him, but I feel like somebody might have slipped him a few checks to say some things. Now that's just my assumption. I don't know that with one hundred percent certainty. All right, just want to put that out there. I don't know this with one hundred percent certainty, but I think somebody is, um filling his pockets to make sure that he continues to speak things that um hmm, I think most of us would find a, a lie maybe let's dive into the video like share comment hit that subscribe button if you're new and let's dive in intellectuals on issues ranging across the spectrum from policy housing policies to laws governing organ transplants have sought to have decision-making discretion taken from those directly involved who have personal knowledge and a personal stake and transferred to third parties who have neither and who pay no price for being wrong, close mm. quote. So again, this, this counter common sense, you know what's best for your health, therefore we must make the decision in a bureaucracy in Washington. That's right. How, uh, <laughs> well, if you've been told all your life, and, and many of these people have, from an early age, they, they were in the class for bright, gifted children. They were the ones who got into the good high schools. They were the ones who were accepted in colleges that accept uh, less than 10% of the applicants. Uh, uh, they, they've heard this all through their lives. And after a while, they must, in all due modesty, uh, believe it. <laughs> all right. It's here we pride ourselves on what we call freedom. OK, we're free, free. And part of that free, you know, we, we live in a country where there are entire states where if you ride a motorcycle, you don't have to wear a helmet. Right. OK, that's how free we are. Or at least we tell we so tell ourselves we are. Here's the difference. <laughs> Wait, what? That That's not like real serious freedom. I mean, I, I, I get on one hand what he's saying, but like if that's what you call like freedom hey i get to ride my motorcycle without a helmet i'm free like no 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 uh -uh. trash <laughs> you know what i mean like that, that, that that's like this much freedom you know i'm just saying anyway let's continue on free we are or at least we tell we so tell ourselves we are here's the difference if you don't wear a helmet and you're in an accident you're more likely to die and become an organ donor, but you're not putting anyone else's freedoms at risk right. by doing so. Right. So that's a pure expression of your freedom right. taking your own life at risk as a, as a functioning rational adult. Right. Okay? Right. If you now express your freedoms but put other people's freedoms at risk, that's a no-no. And so I think so many Americans were confused about them wearing a mask not realizing that's not only to prevent you from getting uh, sick, it's to prevent you from making other people sick. Right. Yeah. All right. If you don't know that you have it. And that's where people didn't fully recognize and understand what it means to live in a free country. I mean, you can do what you want, provided you don't subtract from someone else's freedoms. Mm -hmm. And wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out. Slam on the brakes. You know, 
Me not wearing a mask infringes on somebody else's freedom? How? I'm not stopping them from going anywhere or doing whatever it is, whatever it is that they want to do. You know, uh, when, when, when it first came out, they told us if you got the, if you got it, you couldn't get sick. You were good. They told us if you wore the mat, the face covering, Hey, you're good. You're not going to get sick. So if I choose to not wear one and I come across somebody who wants to be safe, right? And got the, and also wears the mask covering. Why does it matter that I'm not wearing a mask? How am I invading on their freedom? Hmm. I think that's a legitimate question. I'm not physically like stopping them. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, wait, where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? I ain't wearing a mask today. Hey, 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 stop. Stop what you're doing. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. Go, go back home. You know, hey, look, I'm not wearing a mask. Go back home. Like, what? 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 That doesn't even make sense. Literally, what he just said makes no sense. No sense. Oh, I mean, unless I'm an idiot, which, I mean, I guess it's possible. Um, Maybe I'm wrong, but can y'all inform me in the comment section? Did that make any type of sense to y'all? Please let me know. Please let me know. I'm I'm genuinely confused. Genuinely conf confused. I, I I'm lost when it comes to that. It does not make any sense to me. Somebody let me know something, please. Type it up. Free country. I mean, you can do what you want, provided you don't subtract from someone else's freedoms. Mm -hmm. And wearing a mask allows creates the situation where you're not subtracting from someone else's freedom especially old people who could die right from yeah. that. right but so, i think we're so selfish so, though that we only care so about it's, it's us a, even if they're told the people who did that even when they were told and people didn't want to believe it was real it, all the conspiracy people so I'm, I'm i'm saddened as an educator that we have people in this the most advanced country the world has ever seen the wealthiest country the world has ever seen and we have whole communities among us who are sure Earth is flat, that vaccines are bad, that the, the virus is, is, is an invention by the Chinese or whomever. This is disturbing. And our, our, I don't know that we have the wisdom to take ourselves deep into the 21st century. If they had some sense of the loss of freedom, which is infinitely more important than any of the specific issues by themselves, that is Obamacare really is a huge step towards the loss of freedom I mean, and it happens in small ways, that, 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 but constantly. I mean, we can't have our own, the light bulb that we want in our own home. We can't flush the toilet with the kind of toilet we want. We can't take a shower with the kind of shower head we want. Uh -huh. uh, we can't put our garbage out except uh, uh, and, and broken down by the way that some little uh, uh, gal lighters have decided that oh, we, ought, we, ought, we, ought, we ought to do it. I mean and also, we can't have the type of stove like gas that we want apparently either we can't take the take the type of car that we want for a drive either <laughs> okay um so that 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 list goes on all right and that, that it's just the accretion of these things uh many of which are too small to be significant in, in themselves but in the aggregate you can aggregate you can see the tendency of this the people who think they know better and they ought to be telling us what to do uh, those people are the danger and if you don't see that then uh, I'm not sure what the, what the future is. Tell them again, was. Thomas. The people who think they know better and they ought to be telling us what to do, uh, those people are the danger. And if you don't see that, then uh, I'm not sure what the, what the future is. The people who think that they know better and they should tell us what to do, they're the truly dangerous ones. And if you don't see that, then, hey, listen, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, th I think uh, the great Thomas Sowell was spot on, spot on with that last statement. Absolutely spot on, 100%. Um, but as always, you know, y'all can let me know how you felt about that statement in the comment section. Um, and uh, also, let me know how you felt about the Neil deGrasse Tyson thing that I, that I was asking about earlier. Did that make sense to you? Am I tweaking? Am I crazy? Am I a lunatic? I mean, listen, maybe I am. Maybe I am. I, and that's the thing. Like, I own the fact that, listen, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm thinking about this from the wrong perspective or I just have the wrong type of information. I recognize that I could be wrong on anything that it is that I say, right? And I think the problem with folks on the left is that there's no possible way on anything that they could ever be wrong about what it is that they're saying. There's no possible way. Like that's their mindset, which I think is... Part of the reason why 
uh, these folks are lunatics. But, <laughs> you know, I, I, I think that's detrimental, obviously, when you walk around with this mindset like, I'm right, I'm always right, I've always been right, and there's no possible way that I can be wrong, and anybody that does say that I'm wrong, they're the crazy ones, and it's just like, um, no, no, you could be wrong on everything that it is that it is that you say, that, that it is that you're saying, excuse me, jeez, I couldn't get that out, what in the world, but you could also be right, who knows, but let's have that discussion, let's be open about it, let's both recognize that where we stand Either one of us could be wrong. I think I think that's the proper standing to take. But hey, maybe I'm a lunatic. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you thought about all of this in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.